chapter 42 food donation and baba's cooking vessel why difference between lord Dutta and me distribution of offerings to god food donation and baba's cooking vessel food donation is superior to all donations who gives food to recluse and hungry he is superior donor it is written in Thai Trio Phanishada that food is Brahma, God and all the creatures were born from it and they remain alive through it and after the death emerge in it. When a guest comes to your house during the day when it is our duty to welcome him and give him food. In other kind of donation, money, earth, cloth, etc. One has to think about the eligibility but for food it is not essential. Firstly, lame, disabled, blind or ill beggars than those who are bodily able. After these, all relatives should be fed. In spite of all others, to feed the handicaps is more valuable. Without food donation, all other donations are incomplete the same way as torch without moon, independent without necklace, doom without temple, lake without lotus, bhajan without devotion, Sugan, married woman without vermolin. Sun without sweet voice, food without salt. Baba was alpahari, leaf eater, and whatever he ate that he had from arms collected from two thousand li. But when he arrangements from the beginning to end, he did everything. He did neither rely upon others nor gave pain to others in this regards. He going to bazaar himself purchased and brought all things, grain, food, salt, chili, cumin seeds, coconut, all other spices, above all the work of grinding he did himself. In the courtyard of mosque he prepared an oven, lit fire in it and filled water in appropriate quantity in the pot. Pots food could be prepared for 200 persons while in the big one food could be prepared for 500 persons. At times he cooked the sweet rice and at times he cooked the rice mixed with flesh. Pull out. At some other times he cooked dal and mukkule also. Crushing spices on the stone, put it on the pot, he tried his best to prepare the food tasty. He prepared ambil and tea by mixing the flour of millet in boiled water and they di distributed it to all devotees in equal quantity. To know whether the food is being prepared well, he was wrapping his sleeve in the kafni, put his hand into the boiling pot, mixed it all around. By doing so, he had neither any signs of burning in his hand nor a line of pain on his face. When that food was prepared, then he called for pots from mosque in order to read the Fatiha, then putting aside a part of Prashad of Mahal Sapati and Tatya, he fed the rest of the poor to poor orphan people and satisfied their hunger. In this way, this practice of Handi continued till 1910. Why difference between Lord Datta and me? Stinana Sahib Chandokar once came to Shirdi with his sadhu, husband of his sister-in-law, Sri Viniwale. When they reached to mosque, Baba, while discussing suddenly, spoke in anger that you are close to me for a long time. Even then, why do you behave like this? At first, Nana Sahib could not understand his words, so he requested to make him understand his fault. In reply, he said, when you come to Kopar again and then from there, how could you reach Shirdi? Then Nana Sahib could quickly understand his fault. It was his practice that while coming to Shirdi, he used to worship Datta God on the banks of river Godavari in Kopraham. In spite of his relative being a devotee of Datta God, he for the fear of being late prevented from going to Datta temple and he straight came over to Shirdi. Accepting his fault, he said that while taking 
Bath in the river Godavari, a big thorn pricked him in his foot, to which he was feeling much pain. Baba said this was a very small punishment and he warned him to remain always very alert against these kind of behaviors in future. Distribution of an offering to God When after Aurati, having blessings and Odi, devotees returned to their house, then Baba returned behind the curtain and resting back, supported by him, Kar took his seat and taking his knee. Two rows of devotees used to sit near him. Devotees brought many kinds of Nevedya, Puri, Mande, Peda, Barfi, Basundi, Ma, Sanjana, Amanbi, Moher, Bath, etc. Decorated on plates till he did not accept the Nevedya in. To then the devotees kept waiting outside. All the Nevedya was mixed together, then he offered the Nevedya to God and himself looking at it. After giving a part of it to those waiting outside, the reminder was given to devotees sitting inside. When Baba came and sat in the corner of both the rows, then devotees ate at their satisfaction. Baba often told to Shama and Nimorkar to feel the devotees very well, knowing their necessities carefully. They both did this work with full devotion and happiness. In this way, with every available mor moral was healthy and satisfactory to devotees. One day, sitting in such satsang, society of pious people, when Himad Pant had taken his meal completely, then Baba gave him to drink a cup of tea. He felt happy by it, white color, and having no room in his stomach, he drank only one sip. Seeing his neglecting behavior, Baba said, Drink it in full. Now you will never have such a good opportunity again. Then he drank it completely, but he soon understood that the meaning of Baba's indicative words because shortly after these words, Baba took Mahasamadhi, final contemplation. Jai Sai Ram.